everyone, welcome back to Unmode of Anatomy. Uh, so today we're gonna go over to my buddy Mauricio's house. He's gonna help me uh, troubleshoot the, the problem that I have with some Depot headlights. Uh, and I am in my daily. By this point, obviously you guys know the whole story behind it. And so I'm cruising over to the IE. It should be a good time. That guy's always really down to, uh, to help out and I really appreciate that. Thank you Mauricio, I really appreciate you man. Uh, kinda sad that he let go of his uh, Accord wagon project that he had. It was five luck, he was gonna do uh, five speed, I wanna, I wanna say H22 swap, but you know, other things come into mind and, and priorities come into place, and so it doesn't happen anymore. However, uh, he still knows his way around Accords and Hondas in general, so uh, he's like, yeah, come through, bring the headlights, uh, we might even stall them today, so just give it a nice little uplift to the front end. Uh, I do have the 94 bumper since it is OEM, um, everything original. I am planning to go 96, 97 eventually, and then with the 94, 95 front lip, but for now, it, it, it'll do, whatever. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you guys there, and then I also have the seat. Thank you to my camarada, one sick ass fool on, uh, on Instagram. Uh, help me out. Camera? You don't have to. <laughs> I'm not trying to add new subscribers, though. <laughs> You'll gain some with me. <laughs> I'll probably lose some. Can't even listen to you. So this is Mugen. So we're at my buddy's um, Mauricio's, and he's gonna help me troubleshoot these headlights. So yeah, we're gonna take out the front bumper. Supposedly he knows what he's doing. Do you? Not really. All right, cool. Enjoy the class. <laughs> Bumpers out. Two seconds. Took like three hours though. Just gonna say it took two seconds though. So. Yeah. I also uh, picked up another seat. This one had the bolstering issues. Thank you to my camarada once it gets full. I hope you don't get rid of your coupe. So I'm also gonna be swapping that out. Um, other than that, it's all right. It's cool. Cool little car. It's gonna look better with the headlights. I gotta buy. Um, I have to buy corners because. I only have one corner and the other one, I don't know what happened to it. I may or may not have it. So I'll definitely be looking into that. But for now, back to the headlight install. All right, so we ran into an issue that I, I never had just because I never ran depot headlights with OEM corners. And so obviously the headlights are in and uh, he was able to work out the, the wiring issues that I had. But then the biggest issue that we're facing right now is that I only have one corner. Um, I think I have the other one, but I need to look for it. Or I think one messed up, I bought an extra pair, and then I put on the new ones on, on Jackie, and then this one is the leftover. Well, I didn't know, but the depot headlights are completely different. Like the design, as you guys can tell, the cover, especially where this tab goes. This tab, and this tab, and this tab. So it's really different. So I can't, I cannot run this corner because I was gonna plan that. I haven't uh, ordered the, the other depot corners. I can't run this headlights with these corners and I only have one of these. So that one fits obviously. Um, and there's no point on switching out these brackets from the OEM headlights because um, then the, the corner will not work. So um, yeah. First time I actually experienced that since I didn't know. And I've always rocked um, just OEM, and then after that I did the Depot, and it was all in pair. I mean, all in, 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 in a combo. So my buddy Mauricio was kind enough. He has a Stanley. My buddy Mauricio was able to help me out with the harness from his clear Stanley. Um, now I just, I'm not a big fan of the clear look. So he got me the harness uh, bolts into here, and this is the one from Depot, completely different. So. I'm sure he can repurpose this one. He's a pretty smart guy. So I'm sure um, that's going to work out. He had a wagon before and sold it. So this is actually the Stanley. has no nipples. It's still plastic, but it's clear. I just, uh, I've been in love with the Black House headlights. Um, and so these are the OEM ones, as you guys can tell. Um, different. This one has nipples. And some of the other stuff. But um, yeah, we'll see what we do. Hopefully we he's looking for another corner see if uh, if it works uh, But if not, I think I'm gonna rock This one and then no corner on the other side and then I'm just gonna go ahead and order them because That sucks Either way I was gonna order them, but just gonna expedite the, the process 
All right, everything else is going well. Like I said, all the wiring is done. You fix a couple of the issues that I had. It's looking pretty good. So I guess I'm getting pulled over. What's going on? Your, your license on me, bro? Yeah, what seems to be up? The so your license plate where it has the, the, the tag, it's like almost unreadable. That has that has to be fixed. You know what I mean? Do you have your license on you? So that's the reason? Yeah, that's the only reason why I stopped you. Okay. Where are you coming from, bro? My buddy's house. Just wanna run you real quick and you'll be on your way, alright? Alright, So let me give some feedback. Um this officer had been um so behind me for two straight uh, uh lights. Uh, two red lights so I was waiting to make a left and uh, he was behind me the light turned green I went the car in front of me did a illegal left turn in front of both of us so, so I had to slow down the uh, Jeep Cherokee whatever it was made a left and then when I sped up I, I was gonna get the orange light so I wasn't gonna run a light in orange light especially with the cop right behind me and then I came to a stop he was right behind me the entire red light and then finally, when it turned green, I, may, I was halfway through making a left when um, he he gave me the lights and, and whatever. So that's that's why I was a little. Bullshit, uh, you guys like will see that I'm a little bit more frustrated when I'm driving I mean, home wrong, as to why he pulled me over. For whatever reason. But anyways, mm -hmm. yep. Stay safe, everyone. Okay. So there's a code that goes on your license plate too, and it's really bad. Where it's like it makes it almost hard to read. So I would I would go try to the DMV and try to get a new plate if you can. Okay. Okay. All right, man. Take care. Thank Be you. Safe. Me too. All right, guys. So yeah, that's what happens when you get pulled over. Um, I think he was just. Um, I'm gonna say he said that the reason he stopped me over was because he couldn't read the the July uh, it expires in July the the and the license plates. Um, I'm gonna say that sure that could be the reason i think he was just stereotyping the fact that he was behind me and i didn't go i didn't run an orange light so that's good because otherwise i uh, would have got a traffic violation plus <laughs> well, i pulled you over because i'm gonna see that. i know you also ran out uh, but whatever you know so um the whole time he was behind me so i know he could read it which is kind of crazy but um yeah that was it i mean i'm not gonna unedit any of the the time he just read my my name everything came out good but you know what if I didn't have a license for whatever reason? You know, that just that's just a good way of pulling me over. Now there's gonna be some people that are gonna say, well, why shouldn't you have a license? Well, there's other reasons why some people can't get a license, um, and and it's it's to the point where like, well, I don't worry about me, and that's it. Like I got pulled over, and obviously nothing else happened out of it. But I do think about somebody who maybe just gonna work and over that reason why I wasn't committing a crime my, there's no tinted windows um, it's it's just it's interesting that I think it was a little bit of stereotyping um, but it is what it is but yeah I mean as you guys saw I don't know if you guys were able to see I put both my hands on the steering wheel I always make that a habit um, that way they know like okay I, I take your safety and my safety into consideration um, no, I, I, I understand somebody has to do the job that he's doing. I just think like to pull me over um, Over plates when the other sticker says 2021. I guess he's doing his job um, But it is what it is man. Anyways, uh, big shout out to Mauricio. I really appreciate you my guy uh, <laughs> Maybe they pulled me over because I have two separate corners and, and for that reason I could legitimately understand that reason if, if the officer would have said the reason I pulled you over is because you're, you're a riser and you have two different corners. I would have been, sir, you know, you have every single right. But it was over something else. But anyways, now I appreciate you, Mauricio. Thank you for the help, man. Thank you for giving me the harnesses from your uh, Stanley lights. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, now we're bouncing home. This is it for uh, the whole headlight ins installation. I hope you guys uh, learn something or at least learn something what not to do. Uh, yeah, the beater's coming along, man. It's making some funky sound already, but Eh, it's an accord. It'll, it'll, it'll run for days, right? Anyways, we'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, we go for the car, we stay for the person. And uh, I just appreciate all the support and love from everybody, man. Seriously. Thank you.